we are asked to multiply the binomials. To multiply two binomials, we distribute the terms of the first binomial into the second binomial. So to determine this product, we distribute 3x squared into the second binomial, which gives us two products, and then because of the minus four, we distribute negative four into the second binomial, which gives us two more products. When multiplying two binomials, we always have four products. Sometimes you'll hear the acronym FOIL to explain how to multiply two binomials, where the F stands for the product of the first terms, the O stands for the product of the outer terms, the I stands for the product of the inner terms, and the L stands for the product of the last terms. But I prefer the idea of repeater distribution because repeater distribution can be used when multiplying binomials times trinomials, trinomials times trinomials, and so on. FOIL only works when multiplying two binomials. And now let's determine the four products. First we have three x squared times x squared, which gives us three x to the fourth. And then we have plus three times x squared times seven, which gives us plus 21 x squared. And now because of the minus four here, we distribute negative four. Remember, minus four is equivalent to plus negative four. Negative four times x squared is negative four x squared. Instead of writing plus negative four x squared, let's just write minus four x squared, which is equivalent. And then we have negative four times positive seven, which is negative 28, which gives us minus 28. And now we combine like terms. Notice how we have two x squared terms. 21 x squared minus four x squared is 17 x squared. And therefore the final product is three x to the fourth plus 17 x squared minus 28. Next, to determine the product, we distribute five x cubed into the second binomial, and then we distribute positive three into the second binomial. Again, we distribute each term in the first binomial into the second binomial, which again will always give us four products. So multiplying, we have five x cubed times five x cubed, which is 25 x to the sixth, and then we have five x cubed times negative three. Again, minus three is equivalent to plus negative three. Five x cubed times negative three is negative 15 x cubed, which gives us minus 15 x cubed. And now we distribute the three. Three times five x cubed is 15 x cubed, giving us plus 15 x cubed. And then finally we have three times negative three, which is negative nine, giving us minus nine. And now we combine like terms. Again, we have two x to the third terms negative 15 x cubed plus 15 x cubed is zero, and therefore the expression simplifies to 25 x to the sixth minus nine. And then finally we have the square of x to the fifth minus six. There are no shortcuts here. We have two factors of x to the fifth minus six. We need to write out both factors, and then multiply the two binomials. So we first distribute x to the fifth into the second binomial, and then distribute negative six into the second binomial. Again, we have four products. X to the fifth times x to the fifth is x to the tenth. And then we have x to the fifth times negative six, which is negative six x to the fifth, which gives us minus six x to the fifth. And now we distribute negative six into the second binomial. Negative six times x to the fifth is negative six x to the fifth, giving us another minus six x to the fifth. And then finally we have negative six times negative six, which is positive 36, giving us plus 36. And again, we combine the like terms. Negative six x to the fifth minus six x to the fifth is negative 12 x to the fifth. The simplified product is x to the 10th minus 12 x to the fifth plus 36. I hope you found this helpful.